Our advanced quality solution for Dynamics 365 delivers powerful features for lot sampling, including ANSI, ISO, and NIST standards. Inspections are flexible and can be customized through user definitions. Inspection plan supports normal, tightening, reduced, and skip lot modes. For this demonstration, we'll perform a dock inspection prior to receiving the raw material into inventory. The wire that we will be inspecting is purchased in feet and our supplier ships the wire in spools. Our process will be to weigh the spools and have the inspection process perform a mathematical calculation to determine that the calculated results match the supplier's packing slip. Each spool can hold 1,000 feet and weigh 7 pounds. Simply documenting the number of feet stated on the packing slip and entering the weight of all spools will provide the results of our inspection. There are several functional areas in Dynamics 365 where I could perform this inspection. For this demonstration, I will launch my inspection directly from the purchase order. I first create my inspection journal header record. And then add the inspection line to my journal. This brings in the purchase order line details, including the lot quantity. The next step is to select my sampling journal from the button group functions. This will open up the validation steps to inspect the lot. The header information provides details pertaining to the inspection plan associated to this lot. The lines grid details the inspection steps. The instructions for line 1 is to visibly inspect the lot for damage and select pass or fail. The second line is instructing me to enter in the number of feet stated on the packing slip. For this line, I'll enter 70,000. Once I enter this information, my form has updated me that the inspection will fail as I have one more data point to enter. Line 3 has instructed me to enter the weight of the lot. By navigating the tooling tab, I have two scales to pick from. The first scale is within the calibration schedule, whereas the second scale is out of the calibration indicated by the wrench and screwdriver. We also have color coding activated to ensure that this status is visible to the inspector. At this point, we can also have an IOT button to automatically retrieve the information directly from the scale. For this demonstration, I'll manually enter in the reading from the scale. Once I enter in the weight from the scale, the automated calculators will provide me the results. Since I entered 490 pounds, line 4 displays the actual feet received. The weight validated the number against the packing slip. Line 5 displays the results in percentage, and it permits a plus or minus of 10% as the acceptance value. Entering a weight outside of this range will fail the inspection and automatically insert a defect code. Since I want this inspection to pass, I'll reset my value to 490 pounds. Now that I've completed my entries, I'll sign off on the sampling journal. When inspections fail, you can easily create a non-conformance right from the inspection journal. The general tab has automatically been updated to a pass status and with a good quantity. The last step in the process is to approve and close the inspection journal.